Hello everyone, so in this video we will be implementing object detection in PyTorch and we will be using the SSD algorithm which is single shot detection algorithm. So we will start by first importing the basic libraries. So we will say import torch, then we will say import torch vision, torch vision, V I S I O N vision. Then we will say from torch vision import transforms as T capital T transforms A N S transform as capital T. Then we also need the PIL library for image. So we will say from PIL import image image and then we are going to say import CV2 and then we are lastly going to have our patch. So we are going to say from google.colab.patches import CV2 underscore imshow and we will hit shift and enter. Okay, so these are our imports. The next thing that we need to do is have the model. So we will say model is equals to torch vision dot models models dot detection dot so we will have the SSD model. So we will say SSD 300 underscore uh, VGG VGG 16 and then we are going to say pre-trained equal to true. So obviously we are going to have a pre-trained model. We will not be doing any fine tuning or any other thing. We will just be using the model and directly we will do detections. Okay. So we are going to hit shift and enter and Yes, so you are going to see that it will automatically did download all the weights that we will be needing. So it has downloaded the weights and what we are going to do now is we are going to put the model in the evaluation mode. So we will say model dot eval. What this basic basically means is now this model will only be used for evaluation. Okay, we cannot do training with this. So we will hit shift and enter. So you can see the model is here. It's quite big. Yes, whatever. So now what we need to do is we need to actually download the image. So the link is in the description of how to get the of the means the code that you will need or the line basically. So this line. So I have copied the line here and I'm going to paste it over here. So this line this is there in the description below. OK, so you can get this and hit shift and enter. This will basically get the image for you. OK. Um, as you can see over here, I can show you, you can see the image is already there. Fine. Now what we need to do is we need to predict. So, but before that we need to define the transform. So we are going to say transform. Remember this is transform. This is an, uh, this is a variable and here is transforms. The S is there. Okay. So this is different. We are going to say capital T dot two tensor. So we'll have, we'll be having our image, which is in the PIL format. We have to convert it in the tensor format so that we can give it to PyTorch. Okay. So after that, what we are going to say, we are going to say oh, before that, what we need to do is actually import the image. So we will say image dot open and we are going to give the path of the image. So the path is here. We can go here and say copy path and then pass the path. So now IG has our image. So here what we can say, we will say IMG, which is the real image. We will say transform and IG. So what this will do is it will take the image IG which has been you know opened through PIL and then it will transform. Now what will happen in this is the image will be values. These are these will be tensor values which which can be given to PyTorch. So we I'm going to say with torch dot no grad basically means that gradients won't be calculated over here. I hope yeah torch is already there. So with torch dot no grad, I'm going to say bread is equals to model open close bracket and inside square brackets and I'm going to say image. So image is our image that is over here. OK, I'm going to hit shift and enter. So this basically what it should do is it should find the uh, predictions. So if I'm going to print it over here, you're going to see a bunch of outputs. OK, first let it run. Yeah. So now what you can see is you can see there's so many outputs. So many of those things have been detected fine and there are so many labels as well. Okay, 
we will see how many are there but first we need to see what labels or what pred is and you can also see over here if i can scroll it up there are many many outputs we will not be needing them obviously a lot of it are, or rather i would say a majority of them are useless because there are a lot so boxes is there that is our bounding boxes you can see bounding boxes it's every row has four four numbers okay but these are in uh, decimal format we'll have to convert it into integer so this is x1 as you can see in the image this is y1 this these two are the top left corner uh, what to say your coordinates and the second one over here that you can see these are going to be your bottom right corner okay so we will have to change this by the way but if you see this is actually a list you can see it is starting with a square bracket okay so if you see the length it's gonna be one so len of pred that will come out to be one so if you want the first element obviously because that's the only element you are going to have again the same output will come but if you print type over here okay if you print type you will see that this is a dictionary and since it's a dictionary we are going to have some keys for it so i'm going to say dot keys so there are three keys basically bounding boxes are there scores that we saw some time back and labels so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to say b boxes b b o x e s the bounding boxes comma scores comma labels okay so these were the three uh keys and we are going to have we are going to basically have different variable for different things okay whatever is there in the dictionary so i'm going to say pred of zero and since we are going to use the first key is boxes x e s so this thing will go in b boxes okay this variable over here now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this over here and then i'm going to paste it twice and instead of boxes here we are going to say scores and instead of boxes here we're going to say labels now shift and enter so now if i print the boxes b boxes you are going to see that only the boxes will come now the labels are in the different uh, variable okay so with that we were able to separate now let me go to scores and show you something so when you look at these scores so what are these scores basically these scores are basically the confidence scores okay so whatever is the first object it is 92.42 percent sure so 0.92 you have to multiply it by 100 so 92 percent sure 92.5 or 92.4 percent sure that whatever is the first label is there it is present in the object in this object and the second one is 90 percent then 63 percent then 43 percent so what i'm going to do basically is and i'm also going to show you the labels so now let me show you the labels okay let me leave it over here let me go to another cell and go and there and, and there i'm going to show you the labels okay so if you see the labels so the 80 second whatever 80 second label is there i'm going to show you in the text what it what it oh sorry 82 not 87 whatever the 82 um label is there it is the model is confident that that label is with 92 percent accuracy or 92.4 okay so now what we need to do is we need to have our number of boxes because obviously there are so many if you print, print the shape of this so i'm going to print the shape this will tell us how many are there there are 200 such uh, numbers so obviously we will not be able to print 200 we'll be printing at max 5 okay so what i need to do is an uh, important thing to remember is this is in the decreasing order okay you can see this is in the decreasing order 0 0.9242 0 0.9001 and all of these things these are in the decreasing order so what i can do is i can put a limit that whatever predictions i'm going to take whatever detections i'm going to take has to have a probability of greater than 0 0.5 that is 50 percent so you can see only these three will be useful why because only these three are greater than 0 0.5 okay so i'm going to say over here torch dot argware okay and i'm going to say torch dot argware scores scores had a probability has to be greater than 0 0.5 so if i am going to print this one you can see only zero only one and only two only these three uh scores were there that had great probability greater than 0 0.5 and you can see over here 0 0.9242 0 
0.9 and 0.63 rest everything else over here is lesser than 50 percent so it is lesser than 50 percent sure okay now what I, what we actually need we need how many numbers are there so there are three numbers one two three so for getting that i'm going to say shape of zero okay so this should give me three so let me have another variable for it and let's call it num okay having got that gotten that now we are going to use the coco names these are basically coco names okay so i have already uh, copied this over here it's already in the description don't have to worry you can go in the description and get it so if you paste it over here you can see there are so many classes okay so you can see there is person there is bicycle there is car and all of those things so when it says 82 it basically means whatever 82 label is there so one two three and that continues till 82 whatever wherever it will come to 82 that will be our label for this uh, first one okay so now let me do something like i'm going to take the image and actually print it okay i'm going to show you all the detection in an image so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to say igg which is the image cv2.imread okay and one more thing that i have to do here is i have to import okay I have to import the or rather copy the path so I'm going to print the path over here and so this is basically our image in CV2 okay now what we are going to do is we are going to have our for i in range and then we are going to pass in num okay so after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to again go back to the okay boxes are not there fine so if you remember if you remember the B boxes, B boxes, if you remember, you can see over here that there are four, four values in each and only three of them will be required. Why? Because only three of them were successful in getting more than 50% confidence. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, and this is in the format I explained X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So I'm going to say X1, comma Y1, comma X2, comma Y2 is equals to boxes uh, b boxes boxes of i okay so let's say first i will be zero it will take this this first line okay and then we will also convert it to numpy because as you can see over here it is in tensor format which is in pytorch format i want it to i want it to be in numpy format and also change the uh, since you can see these are decimal values, but for uh, coordinates we need integer values. So I'm going to change it to integer. Okay. Now after that we also need uh, we need to print the box. So I'm going to say igg and we will use the cv2 dot rectangle function. Rectangle. Again print. Again have the image. Then obviously now we have found what is the x1 and y1 in the top one. So this is the top left coordinate x1 y1. And then we are going to have the bottom right coordinate which is x2 y2 okay then what we are going to have is we are going to have the color so i'm going to give it a green color 255 comma zero and then i'm going to give here the thickness i'm going to keep the thickness less and i'm going to give it one now what i need to do is you can see the labels are in the number format right now it's it is time that we can con we should convert it into a string format so that we actually know and can read what these labels are so for that I'm going to say class name, class underscore name, and I'm going to say um, coco names, coco underscore names, and we are going to say labels dot numpy. We are going to say labels dot numpy, and I'm going to pass i and minus one. Why minus one? Basically, if you see these labels starts from one. Okay, these labels start from one. However, this Coco names is a list, which means it has to be indexed, which means the index, obviously the index starts from zero. And for that, we have to subtract minus one over here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the text on the image itself or on top of the bounding box. So for that, I'm going to say IgG is equals to CV2 dot put text. Okay. And we have to give certain at, uh, attributes. So I'm going to say IgG and i'm going to say class underscore name and then i'm going to have the attribute or the uh, location i'm going to say x1 comma y1 minus 10 y minus 10 i want it to be on the top left corner but i want it 
want it to be a bit above the box and that's why minus 10 okay i hope you are familiar with how cv2 uh, has its axis and how the numbers are basically the dimensions so left to right is increasing in the positive x direction and top to bottom is increasing in the positive y direction okay so coming back then we need to give the font so i haven't mentioned the font over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to say font again cv2 and this is how it's done font hershey complex or let's say simplex simplex okay so i'm going to hit shift and enter so font is given now i need to give the font scale so for that i'm going to give 0.5 i don't really want it to be very very big okay i need to give the color so i'll be giving the blue color so 255 comma 0 comma 0 after that what i'm going to do i'm going to give the thickness so i'm going to give it one i don't want it to be very very thick and cv2 dot line underscore aa okay so i hope it should run shift and enter okay so it seems that it has run now let me actually go and print the results okay so i'm going to say cv2 dot or rather underscore im show and i'm going to print igg and let's see what we get okay as you can see pretty clean result we can see the refrigerator even though we cannot see the whole text maybe we will have to make certain adjustments here but it can detect the refrigerator it can also detect the oven properly you can see the oven is also written and it can detect the oven third we have the dining table and it can you, you can see over here the brown dining table which basically means that it has worked so that was that i hope you understood the video and bye